Hi friends good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. And for all of you I pray that God fulfill all your dreams and give you lots of happiness. And my dear friends every time I try my best to give you all latest news. Therefore, you are requested to sit tight on your seats and enjoy the latest news. Minister of Finance, Tayef Sami, announced on Monday that the 2024 budget schedules will soon be sent to Parliament. This came while hosting Sami in the Finance Committee, according to what was reported by Shafak News Agency correspondent. The minister stated that, employees' salaries for the year 2024 are fully insured, noting that, the release of employees' salaries in the Kurdistan region during the current month is subject to submitting lists of names, and we have stipulated nationalization to disperse them during the coming months. She continued, we have begun launching financing for the operational budget, adding, soon we will send the 2024 budget schedules to the Council of Ministers for approval and sending them to Parliament. For his part, a member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Mustafa Sanad, told Shafak News Agency, the Parliamentary Finance Committee hosted Finance Minister Tayef Sami to discuss a number of topics, including financing the operational budget for the year 2024. Sanad explained, the minister informed the members of the committee that there is no interruption in funding the budget with regard to operations and salaries of employees. Sanad continued, with regard to the salaries of employees in the Kurdistan region, and after the federal court's decision, this month's salaries will be financed in the usual way through direct transfers. As for March salaries, the salaries of the region's employees will be financed through the localization of salaries. He concluded by saying, Funding the salaries of employees in the region will be through the governorates, meaning that the governorate that submits its data directly before the other will localize the salaries of its employees faster. Yesterday, Sunday, the Finance Committee in the Iraqi Parliament revealed that it will host the Minister of Finance tomorrow, Monday, to discuss the localization of the salaries of Kurdistan region employees and the delay in distributing salaries throughout the country. This comes after the Iraqi Ministry of Finance confirmed that it has taken measures and procedures to secure salary funding on an ongoing basis according to the 2024-2025 budget, denying at the same time political statements that indicated the lack of financial liquidity. It is noteworthy that the Federal Supreme Court, the highest judicial authority in Iraq decided, on February 21, to oblige the federal prime minister and the prime minister of the Kurdistan regional government to settle the salaries of employees and workers in the public sector in the region with federal banks. The court also decided to oblige the submission of the monthly budget for the region's employees to the federal ministry of finance, while requiring the region's council of ministers to hand over all oil and non-oil revenues to the federal government. The ruling stressed that the decision to localize the salaries of the region's employees is final and binding. A member of the Parliamentary Integrity Committee, Abdul Amir al mayahi said that the central bank directed the banks to deliver external transfers in dollars, but some of them did not comply with the instructions, and we will take quick decisions against them, indicating that there is talk within the committee to host the governor of the central bank, Ali al Alak and the directors of licensed banks, in the coming days, against the background of these violations. al Mayahi explained, in an interview with the official newspaper, followed by the 964 network, that, banks' violation of instructions regarding converting customers' transfers in foreign currency into the Iraqi dinar at a price set by the state at 132 causes serious harm to customers due to the price difference, calling it a violation, despite from the directive of the central bank dated December 31, 2023, and its confirmation on 2 January 2024, then reaffirming the instructions for a period not exceeding nine days on the 11th of January 2024 on the necessity of adhering to the instructions of the central bank and taking into account the rights of customers.
Al Mayahi added, the central bank directed that customers be given their remittances in dollars, not Iraqi dinars, and that the banks should inform the central bank of the amounts they need for cash dollars to meet their customers' requests, indicating that the banks, unfortunately, did not respond to the call of the central bank, did not implement the instructions, and are still delivering external transfers to customers in dinars. He pointed out that, the Integrity Committee will have a major role in relation to these violations, especially since there is talk within the committee to begin hosting the governor of the central bank and the advanced staff in the coming days, in addition to the directors of licensed banks to examine the violations committed by them. Al Mayahi stated, Council of Ministers Resolution No. 23.26 of 2023 emphasized taking into account dealing in the Iraqi currency and supplying the dinar, and this does not apply to converting foreign remittances to the dinar, and said, this is a clear violation and quick decisions will be taken regarding it by the committee. And Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sadani reopened the al-Shamal refinery at the Beji refinery complex. The plant has been rehabilitated by the Northern Refineries Company NRC, having been inactive for more than 10 years. The Prime Minister said the opening brings Iraq closer to fully securing the country's needs for petroleum products by mid-next year, adding that this will save billions of dollars that can be invested in other service and economic sectors by halting the importation of petroleum products, thereby achieving reform. He also affirmed the government's preparation for investment projects both inside and outside Iraq adopting a new policy of investing in petrochemical and downstream industries to achieve greater returns. And the Iraqi drilling company, IDC, has successfully completed the drilling of the oil well EBS-68 as part of the contract with the Chinese company Junhua to drill 27 oil wells at the East Baghdad field, in collaboration with China Oilfield Services Limited COSL, a division of the China National Offshore Oil Corporation CNOOC. The drilling operations were carried out using the IDC-36 drilling rig, with a capacity of 1500 horsepower, employing horizontal drilling technique at a 90-degree inclination angle to a depth of 3,548 meters. This marks the 15th well completed by the company as part of this project. Thanks take care.